All of my recent base upgrades have had a huge impact on progress and my new Baryonyx line and kit has me feeling ready to take on the Upper South Cave. Let's get cracking. Ari Tinkers, I'm Toast Bloke and welcome to my Ark Survival Ascended, the island playthrough where I'm ready to start taking on the next set of caves. And those are the caves that I'm going to need to get down to retrieve the artifacts to take on the Megapithecus boss fight. Now, I'm here outside of the Upper South Cave and this one is a little bit tricky, especially if you're just starting out. And I've already done this a few times, so this could go completely wrong or could go perfectly well. Who knows? All I remember is I had a nightmare trying to find the artifact the first time because it's up in the sky. But as always, I've got my usual cave kit, although it's a little bit upgraded here. Look at this fancy bed. And what I'm going to be doing is just popping a spawn point out the front somewhere so that I can get here easy if need be. But I've also got somewhere to spawn from if I die. Also means if I come in and do some runs, I can start stashing artifacts, which is always super handy. Let me just switch that to the double doors. Then I'm going to pop a ceiling on top. You remember to do that next. Come on, snap. There's only one place the ceiling belongs on this structure. I'll get the double bed in there and then I'll get my little storage box in there too. And finally, the doors on. And that is me prepared to go into the cave. Now then, this cave has water sections, so I am bringing my scuba. I managed to pick up another nice bit of scuba out of the drop, which is lovely, but the main thing is I can craft it now. And I've also got, just in case, I can't remember if there are on it in here, but if there is, and I don't want to get rabied, I've got my lesser antidote. So we'll see how it goes. Grappling hooks are required, if I remember as well, to get up to the artifact nice and easily. So we're just going to jump in there and see what happens, like I say. Ooh. Ooh, I was worried for a second I wasn't going to fit in then. Why is that such a tight hole? That is tiny. Wow. Right, anyway, let's get our... I'm going to put the torch onto the baryonyx, just so I can see a little bit. Myself, personally, though, I now have a shotgun that is fabricated and a torch. So that's going to make my... Oh, my goodness, I thought that was a creature. But I just... I can see way better in caves now. Visibility is hugely improved. Now, in the old version of the game, what I used to do is I was told that you needed to follow the glowy mushrooms on the floor. So I used to do it. I think it's real. I think that's true. I think they will take it to the artifact. Let's hope that's still the case in this version. Because if it's not, I'm going to end up lost. We're going to follow these and we're going to see where we end up. Oh my goodness, the cave design is so much better in Ark Survival Ascended. It's just way better. And my baryonyx can go through impossible gaps here, which is nice. Just seems to clip right through any bit of ceiling. I don't know why they've made all the caves seem extra tight and small when it doesn't seem to have any effect. Surely it would have been better to be able to just see. Anyway, let's drop into third person. It feels light enough in here, especially with all these glowing mushrooms on the wall. So I'm just going to keep following this track. I think I can get down here, right? Lovely, I can. And we're just going to see where we end up. Now, they seem a little bit scarce here. So have I gone the wrong way? Or am I just waiting for them to appear again around the corner? Now, this seems all right. And I think there's multiple routes you can take in this cave. So I'm probably taking the worst one. I can't remember how it works, like I say. Oh, we've got bodies here. Our first critters to fight. And it's just one pulmonary scorpius. Wow. And this is... Can I not get through there? Is that just a tree, though? Can I hack this down with my pickaxe? No, my pickaxe cannot hack that down. That's a bit strange. Here's me saying I can just get through every single gap in the game. Apparently, that is not true. And it's making me wonder if I should just jump off the cliff or if I try and hop around here. Let's just jump and see what happens, right? Oh, I think we did it. Oh, yes, that worked. I wasn't expecting that to work. I thought I was going to end up at the bottom, but no, we're all good. Let's fight these guys here. May as well keep going this way then. Obviously, the roof is continuing to glitch into my camera, which is what you want. Why are you stuck? Why were you a one-shot? Oh, my goodness. This baryonyx is imprinted, by the way. I don't know if I've even explained this, but I had my nursery built, and I've been breeding my baryonyx line, and this one here is imprinted, 
and has some really nice stats from the higher level ones that are tamed. So we've had to say goodbye to Smurfette and we've got a new Forest Green Baryonyx called Forest Gump and he's doing a great job, I'm pretty impressed. So let's just make our way through here. I need to look for those glowing mushrooms again, make sure I'm following them. I feel like I've probably lost the trail already. And on this one, you'll probably notice I haven't turned off resource harvesting, which is why I'm encumbered and why I've got so many bits of meat on us. Right, I'm going to up my health a little bit with some of these points, get to 2k I think. And then I feel like I want some more damage, why not? And if it's safe, I'm going to have to hop off and try and just disable harvesting. So disable resource harvesting, that's the one. And now I should be able to get down here and just kill... Th they were right there! <laughs> they were right there and I got off. That was a bit of a crazy move. Didn't seem to... I'd brought them though somehow. Oh my goodness, that could have went really badly. But we seem to be okay. This looks like it's just a little dead end with some sort of weird mist over it. Very strange. But we are going to continue following the glowy mushrooms. So I can it be in third person. It's ridiculous. The key's too short and the camera doesn't know what to do. How about in here? Oh, only if I'm far back from the camera. I like third person, but I think it's best to be in first. Is this another section that I can't get through on the baryonics? Oh my word, is the baryonics not the right team for the job? It doesn't seem to be able to get through all these gaps. Oh my goodness, this used to be the cave for a baryonics. And now it seems like it isn't. See if I can get back across. But I don't want to get stuck in here or jump down there just in case the baryonics can't do this cave anymore because I'm not prepared to be going around here on foot yeah I can see the onyx down there we've got snakes and that doesn't look like it's full of water so I really don't want to fall down there let us hop off now that I know it's a bit safer and just double check that I can't harvest this tree nah it's part of the furniture so that is going to be staying there let me try and jump this gap back again nope Oh no, I nearly stayed on there, that would have been sick. Oh, we're in a pit. Oh my goodness. I kept walking because I didn't think that was going to come off. And then it nearly came off. And now I feel like a numpty because that would have been sick if I just landed on there and popped back up. Right, straight away. First bat we've encountered has us diseased. I really hope I can get out of here with the barry then because otherwise, game over, innit? Oh, this looks like it's going down. Is that right? Is that the pit I came from? I don't even know where I am. I don't know where I am, where I've been. Oh, I know this place, I know this place. Right, I know this note. Right, this is cool, this is cool. I've just got to hope there's a way out of the cave, like I say, because if not, I'm done for, but... Ah, what are you doing in the ceiling? What the hell? Whoa, that was creepy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, I'll tell you that much. So, it looks like we can get down through here, but... I just, I am really worried that this cave has been baryonyx proofed now then i can't remember where i go from there i just recognize the place i got way more excited than i should have been for how well i know this cave the fact that it looks different as well is just making it more confusing and the fact that i didn't go the way i wanted to go because of bottlenecks has made this really weird it's just thrown me off so i'm gonna probably really struggle to find this artifact but i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna do my best and hopefully we get through and get back out. If not, I'm going to have to leave the barry in here and come back and use it every time I do this cave. Maybe, maybe that would be a reason to actually get cryopods after all, you know. Because I am trying to do the playthrough without them. But if I need them for something as a necessity, then it's okay, right? Now then, this room here definitely has water below, right? I'm pretty sure. And I think I can hop across these sections, although the roof seems really low. And there's an explorer note at the other side. I don't think there's much else there. Ooh, that is scary in first person with the roof being that low. But I think that's all that's across this side, if I recall correctly. Ooh, the lighting changed pretty drastically there. What was going on? So, yeah, I'm going to walk around here. I've already done a note run in the game, so I'm not that bothered if I get notes or not. I guess I can just start getting them now, but I'm trying to leave them if I can. I'd rather go and get them when I want to get them. 
I will be coming back through all the caves multiple times. I've already been back inside of some, so... You know, these ones in particular, as they get harder, I'm going to want to explore more and more. I'm debating just dropping down, you know. I just don't know how this works. It's definitely water, but how deep? After I've done the lower south cave and they just got rid of all of the water and made it shallow, I'm a little bit worried to just drop off a cliff and into it in case I end up taking fall damage. We're already down to half health. And like I say, this is an imprinted baryonyx, so that's crazy. It's having to struggle on in here. But I believe it can survive. If we can get into the water by going down here, we should be able to replenish some health quite quickly if we can kill some piranhas or something. So let's see how that goes. Look at you trying to just sneak up on his there. Think you're hiding in the wall. Let's get these guys. Another onic. Come on. Come on. No, man. Why have I got it? Oh, no. It has given us it. I was going to say, that one sounded infected. And it was. It was. Wow. So, twice already, we've had mega rabies. Our baryonyx has more levels. Maybe it just looks low on health, because I did put some levels into health, didn't I? And this is leveling up, because it's barely been used yet. So, wow. I think we... I don't know. I don't know if I really need much more stamina. I think I'm just going to ram this with damage. Get it there. 999.6 damage. And then uh, maybe a little bit more health too. Why not? This is going to be unstoppable in these caves. But with it being newly designed and it being one I'm less familiar with, I just feel so lost. Absolutely lost. Come on. I think as well, I'm just scared that I can't get the baryonyx out. That terrifies us. Now then, I think we are at the bottom in the room where the water is. So that's good news. Look at all of these. What? There's so many snakes. Oh my goodness. Right. Get wrecked, Schneck. Right, sorted. Now then. This is looking good. This is looking cool. Should we get rid of these snakes as well? Oh, there's one here already. So I guess our hand is being forced. Let's wreck these. Get them done in. And then I think I'm going to take a dip in the water and see what comes of it. Torch is going to go out. This area, can I even get through in the water? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can jump over. Right, get some tail whips going. There's piranhas on us. And just eat this fish and get my health back. Oh, we've got sorcos and all sorts. Now then, I'm underwater for getting the Archon print, so... I should probably be a little bit sensible here, but we've got full health back. So that is the best way to get your health back on a barry. Just get in there and kill fish. Does the trick. Does exactly what you want it to do. You get stunned. No, you're not going to get stunned. Who are you to not get stunned? What is this? What do you think this is? Is it stunned? My word, what, what, what is going on? I can't tell if that's getting stunned or not. It's a 150 sort <laughs> absolute top donny there but i've got my health back that's what i wanted and i'm now in a position if i need to to pop scuba on and things because i've got plenty of it what is i was gonna say it sounded like something was still flapping about the sort on the bottom here what are you doing man just hurry up and die come on right there we go let's get back up see if there's a way out i am really cold in here baryonyx isn't having a nice time Really doesn't like the temperature. Me, nor my baryonyx. And let's kill this stuff on here too. And I'm just trying to remember. I feel like it was up in a little tunnel. The artifact. I just can't remember where. <laughs> Is that really bad? I need to work on my memory. Like, it's useless for some things. Great for other things. You'd think it would remember where this artifact would be when I had such a hard time finding it. But instead, my brain's like, yeah, it just took ages finding it. But don't remember where you found it. Just struggle on again. Struggle on again. Maybe after a day, I'll remember and I'll never forget. I love the ruins I've got in the game. That's just an explorer note there. Right, so this doesn't really go anywhere, this one. And I'm just around the other side where I've just been swimming. Let's see what happens if I go this way. Another pool here. 
I know there was tunnels underground from some of these pools as well. Like you could go in and then follow a tunnel, I'm pretty sure. Or at least that's what I recall. Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe that never happens. Can I just not be stuck in a corner though for a change? I feel like I'm just constantly stuck in here. Like the whole map is just me having my camera stuck in a corner. Can we get out? Not with that piranha fighting us. You, you leave us alone. I'm trying to get out here. Can you not see? Oh my goodness. That one's just knocked us as well. Let us get out, man. Come on, you're useless. And another piranha's come. We up, we up. Yep, we're up. Good. Woo. That was an absolute mess. We've got more things to kill. Just a titan boy. And then we've got water through here. So if I've already gone past the artifact, gutted, there's a high chance I have. But it looks like I found one of the underwater tunnels. And I think that means I should probably put my scuba on. So let's just grab my scuba. I feel like the tunnels were safe, if I recall. So I'm not too worried about that. But why can't I put this stuff on, man? Get it on. Right. There's something fighting us, I think. But I, I cannot see a thing here. What am I supposed to do in here? What's fighting us, man? I can't see. I haven't got the turning circle to spin around enough. And I don't even know where I came from now. I have no idea where I am. It's dark and I'm lost. Right. Is this even an exit? Why? What? How can I see? What is going on? This is horrendous. Right. Let's just try and follow the tunnel. And make sure we can see a clear way out. Because I think I'm confusing ways out. It's just glitches in the walls of the cave. And it's really off-putting. It's making this really difficult. This is a way out. Lovely. An actual way out. But was this the way in? I don't think it was. But <laughs> I know where I am again. <laughs> so that's just looped round, has it? What? Oh my goodness, so I'm back here again. This isn't where the artifact is, this room, is it? And it's somewhere up high in here. But I'm going to just have to explore. Now then, this is a section we definitely haven't been to. Unless things have spawned in quickly. Let's take the scuba off for now. I don't want to waste it. I don't have to. Let's get fighting. Alright, let's get kicking these in. I should probably have my flat chest on. We've been mega rabied for a third time. But I've not got enough of these. I might run out of these the way this is going. This is not going well. This is a lot harder, this cave, than I remember it being. Wow, so we got another pool here. I guess we jump in. So let's get this back on. <laughs> Already just took it off. No point at all. And I'm just going to swim down. These seem to be very much down, across, and then up on the other side. So... <gasps> We found a loot crate. Right, this is nice. So, I'm going to get this. I'm going to hope it's good. I'm also going to hope there's no danger down here currently. Seems chill, right? Seems chill. Let's open it up. What are we getting? Ooh, a few ascendant things there. Ascendant manta blueprint, I think. An ascendant sickle. And what else do we get? Oh, wait. No, the manta is the actual saddle. And then it's the hand eating the quarter done. They're like my favourite starter team and I haven't had one. And now I really want one. Let's swim up here. See what's going on. Because this is a hole. But that's our that's that's our best cave drop yet. So yeah, worth farming this one. Let's get up on here. This looks like an untouched area for us. And again, I have no idea where I am. I feel like I got lost every other time I came through here. I thought I'd be a bit more confident today. Nah, I'm not. Not at all. I still feel just as lost as the first time. And I think it's those underwater tunnels just throw us. Now then, we're seeing mushrooms over there. There's red mushrooms on the way in. I don't think we're somewhere on the way in. But still, I don't want to jump back in the water yet. I want to have a little look around on land. Maybe this does take us back out. I'm forgetting as well, I meant to follow the glowy mushrooms, aren't I, to the artifact. That's what I meant to do, right? So, I need to pay attention to those on the floor. Is that just a light up there, yeah? 
I was thinking, what the heck is that? So let's get down, back underwater. And we're just going to follow this. Kill what comes our way. Is there a way out up here? Doesn't look like it, does there? Does the Was there a tunnel off to the side or something that I've missed? It's really, it's so hard. The visibility is really poor. And not just because of the light, it's the structure of the cave itself making it super difficult. Oh, this way. Looks like it's this way. Do we need to go? Let's get up here. Oh, is that where I just came in? That's where I just came in. Because there's that weird thing on the ceiling. I've just done a 360. Right, let's try again. Let's see what's here. Maybe it isn't an air pocket. I went around here. Oh! Oh! We got a crate here now. Maybe I didn't get here. Or is this just spawned in? Who cares either way? I want it like. I'm having it. Get this loot crate. Ooh, this just this cave's just full of ascendant stuff. I love it. Right, get wrecked. Nothing that I want in particular. But still, let's get our torch back out. Is this a way out? Is this a place I can go? It feels like it should be, but I don't know if I believe it is. It is! Hey, right, nice one. It's not the way I came in, is it? No, this is different. Looks like we can get up here vertically. Is that the only way? Why can't the cave just be like this all the time? Like, it's much more enjoyable being able to actually see what you're doing. Just going to put that out there. I'm just going to say, I like being able to see where I'm going. Make the cave difficult if you want by adding difficulty, right? That's fine, that's fine. Don't just make it hard by making it impossible to see. Oh my god, I'm back here again. All roads lead to this room. Like, literally. So is the artifact here? Maybe it is. Maybe I need to look around here a little bit more carefully. Should I go up? Maybe I do. Maybe that's what I do. I try and get up high and see if I can get up here. But I don't think I can. I know the artifact is up high. I know it is. I remember that much. But I don't want to go out that way because I feel like this room has significance. Can I see anything up high around here? Nah. I'm going to jump in this water though. And have a look around this pool. What can I see under there? I feel like I can see... No, that's just a crystal. So it's not even a tunnel. I come back up. Is there anything going on around here? Hang on, is that... Is that a gap? Hang on, is that a pathway up almost? Is this the area? Is this where I want to be? Can I get up here on the baryonyx? Do you know what? This could be it. I wonder if this is it. But it just feels a lot more hidden than it did in the previous game. And so I'm having an absolute nightmare. But I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling this could be it. Is it safe to get up here? You telling me it is off that room? The room I thought it was off the whole time. It could potentially be off. I'm just scared there's going to be a creature and it's going to have my life. Oh my word, this is horrible. I'm ready to shoot like if it gets tetchy. Is there anything going on? Well, this is up high and it is a pathway. I can hear things. Are they coming? Are they coming? Are they coming? No. Am I solid? Am I good? Is this not it? Is the mul- <gasps> It is it! It is it! Right, lovely. There's the artifact. I don't know what to feel. I feel good and excited and happy, but I also feel terrified that I'm going to get jumped here. Well, let's grab this and we will have the artifact of the park. There we go. Sick. So it seems safe up here. Let's get this on our otter. Let me get in the inventory. And then we want to get another one when we can. So I know how to get here one way. I kind of want to know how you get to this pool. This just feels like the cave I was in at the start, where I first got stuck. Which way did I come from? There's a direction there, and there's a pool here. Is this going to bring us back out in that main room? No. Oh, but this is that tunnel with the little light in the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know how I've ended up back here, but I have. Oh, my word, how? What is down this way? I don't feel like I've been down here. Let's have a little look. And this is a little hidden path. So could this be the one? This is the one. This is sick. 
I've ended up coming back to that pool that I keep coming back to. Again, not even intentionally, I've not been down here and you hadn't. I just seem to keep ending up there. No matter where I walk, where I swim, I keep coming back there. So I decided maybe the cave wants us here. And I had a little peek, had a little sneak around and I found this route. So let's see if this maybe does what I want it to do. Hang on, why is my otter cracking on? Is my otter... Oh my goodness. Can my otter hold its breath? It must be able to. Where's this? Where am I? I have no idea what's going on. Ooh, ooh, wait. This is it, man. I've run past where the artifact is because there isn't one there. Oh, my God. I'm a divvy, but that's the way then. So that's why it keeps forcing us back to that area. So I need to just wait. <laughs> no, I don't. I was going to say, I need to wait till the artifact spawns back in. I don't. We've got it. We've found it. Let's see if this gets us out. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Oh, this is what we're wanting. We're wanting these guys. Oh, but this is the place where I've got to jump across, where it's risky as can be. Don't go too far. Right, and I better look down and see which room this was in. I think it's that room with the dead end. What? What is it, man? Why am I getting stupid saddles? Why can't I just get through here? Come on, get through, jump, power through, jump. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Do all your special abilities. Come on, roll your way through. Nah, can we run and jump? Why would they do that? Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. I just spammed. Sprinting jumps the answer. Right, oh wow. So we might actually be able to get out of the cave now. I want to go up, right? I just, I want to get out of here now. So I'm going to go up. I'm presuming that'll take us out. We are getting loads of lag as we move through. That is probably the pit that I was in at the bottom, I'd imagine. Please see if we can get out. Oh no, look where it is. They're rascals, aren't they doing this? This is shocking. Can I walk on those twigs? Do you know what? We're going to give it a go. I'm going to do one more stunt. One more big stunt here. And if it comes off, this could be my greatest arc moment. Oh, we've landed on this stick this time. Can I back up? Oh my god. Baryonyx parkour is not what I was expecting to be doing. But can we jump onto there? Oh, I think we could have, but it didn't work. Why didn't it work? And now how do I get back? Oh, and we're down. We're off again. Ah, oh. Right, well, I'm going to go around and try that. I think I can do it. As much as I'm trying and as much as I want this to work, it doesn't look like I can get the baryonyx out. I've managed to jump and land on that branch down there multiple times, but I cannot get from the branch back onto the side. So I've had an idea. If I had a platform or a ramp that I could jump onto to get grip on the side, then I should be able to get out. And I'm thinking, if I leave the cave feel like this part's all safe and I grab myself some wood and build a structure I should be able to help get the baryonyx out by just giving it something to climb on so I'm gonna head out of the cave on foot and see if it is safe just crossing my fingers I'm locked and loaded like just in case follow the green this has got to be the way it's got to be this looks good this looks good is that an alpha raptor Are you having a laugh? What am I supposed to do? The game hates us. It's 100% against us. That's looking right in here. Will you go away? Oh my goodness. I need a, a quick escape here. I can't go. I can't go. I can't go. I can't even see where it is to think about going. Is that its tail just there? It is. Hang on. Wasn't there an alpha raptor outside of the central cave when I came out of there? What is it with alpha raptors and caves? It's gone gallivanting off to the left there. Right, I can maybe get gone here. I can maybe get gone. 
Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dillo, don't you say anything. I've been in this cave so long, it is dark. Like, this is ridiculous. But if I can build a little wooden structure, I'm laughing. So, maybe I need to take care of these dillos that are coming for me. I don't know if they are, but I'm not letting them. What? What? How did that first shot not connect? Come on then. Come on then. Maybe it did. Maybe I didn't get a crosshair. Wow. Anyway, we've got to watch out for that Alpha Raptor that looks even closer at the front of the cave now. And I'm going to try and make myself a wooden ramp or stairs. It's the same structure, but you know what I mean. I'll have to try a combo of them and see which one's going to work best. Got thatch, got wood, need some fibre. I've got my new ascending sickle. This is going to help. There we go. And I should be able to build some stuff. And let's see if we can get back in here. I'm just thinking now, like, where's the pillar going to go? Is there going to be a spot this can, like, snap to? There is there. That's too high, though. I need this lower down. Ooh, that looks good. Can that go there? And that can go lower if I want it. Where do I want it? Maybe around there? And will the ceiling snap on top? Ooh, it will. That could do it, you know. That could do it. That could be the answer. I think we'll give it a try. I'm still going to have to do this first part of the stunt. But if I can pull it off, then we can get on that ledge. We can get out. I'd be over the moon. we just got to worry about the Alpha Raptor then. So, we'll see how it goes. Because, you know, third time is the charm. Technically, this is the first time, though, with this structure here. So if I pull this off, we did it first time this stunt, right? Let's have a little run. little jump. Hope I bounce onto the wood. <gasps> Ooh, I have done, but I don't know how well. I'm going to have to do tiny minute movements here to try and stay on here. But I can see my little ledge. I can see my little platform. That looks doable, right? I can jump that. Do I do a diddy jump or a big jump? Do a diddy jump. We're on. And then are we up? Can you get up? Is the game legit not going to let us get up there? We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, my God. Stunt pros out here. Oh, I'm so happy we got the Baryonyx out. I was really, really worried that I was going to have to leave that behind and I didn't want to do that. So, there we go. We are out. We've got the two artifacts. we just got to dodge this Alpha Raptor. Now, as I said, we're, out. we're not technically out, are we? We're close to being out. While well, with the hard part, the stunt part... Is this the exit? I can see blue. It is the exit. There we go. Spot on. Oh no, the Alpha Raptor, why am I forgetting about it? Where is it? I can't see it. Do you know what? I'm just doing a runner for it. I'm getting out of here and I'm getting home. My base looks sick now with that wall around it and the new structures. I'm loving it. All right, let's just hop down, get across here and I should be back home. I'm all over. I'm flustered. That was the hardest cave yet and it wasn't a smooth or fun experience, but... It was a successful one. It was a successful run. I've got back. My Baryonyx is doing okay, doing fine. And was actually a full-on trooper. Did such a great job down there. And more importantly, we now have the artifact of the pack. Oh my word, does that feel good. Let's get the spare one off the otter here. Do that and put that one in storage. And we're flying. We're flying. We have another artifact, and we need two more for the Megapithecus. So I'm going to work on those over the next couple of episodes. And then we'll probably do some more prep work, start sorting out boss teams and everything, before we go to the caves for the dragon, and we get the artifacts on the pedestals around the back here. So, yeah, we're all prepared, we're all set, and it is going well. But I don't really know what else to say, other than I feel stressed to bits. But I'm also very, very happy that that ended up being a successful run. Because the points, I thought it wouldn't be. But I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and call that there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Also, I would love to hear from you, so drop a comment below. Maybe if you've got some tips for that cave, because I clearly need them. As well, if you'd like to get more involved with the community, check out the links in the description below. Discord and the likes is down there but as always thank you so so much for the support you guys take care and i will catch you later cheerio